from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. This can be the most wonderful time of year and also be a time when there's tornadoes. Deep South once again hitting, getting hit hard with a bunch of tornadoes last night into this morning. Snow across the Great Lakes area and the bread basket is quiet and there's been basically no wind. It's all because a high pressure system has been moving across our area. Cold front has pushed all the way into portions of northern Florida. We do have some high clouds coming in from out of the west with a little wave of energy, just enough to make the clouds but not enough for moisture. So we're not expecting anything really too interesting coming up for about 24 hours, except the wind will be back. Last night and early this morning, there was a lot of wind and a lot of hail and a lot of tornadoes. Uh, you see these white areas that indicate the symbol of a tornado. There was about 30 tornado reports. Two people passed away early in morning time period because of some tornadoes and damage. And you can see it was very active, so we just barely missed that. We're not complaining. Also, I wanted to point this out. It's kind of interesting. Uh, if you talk, We talk about lake temperatures during the summer all the time. So our last report was September over Labor Day, so I think it was September. September 2nd or so and temperatures were at about 85 to 87. Since then our temperatures, our water temperatures have dropped down obviously con a considerable amount. But if you wondered what lake temperatures were this time of year, generally 40s to around 50. Lake Tenkiller has the warmest temperature at this point, uh, but the majority of us are in the upper 40s to low 50s. All right, downtown Jinx right now looking pretty good. The bright lights of Christmas upon us, and we're talking about 34 degrees. Temperatures falling off very quickly at this hour. Dew point is at 20, so the air is very dry, and that'll allow our temperatures to drop off big time. Around the metro area, 30s are common with 40 over in Sand Springs, 34 in Wagner, 32 if you're in Pryor. Of course, we have a lot of Christmas parades coming up here in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours and on into Saturday. We're in the 30s right now. Tonight, late through the morning hours, is going to be cold. We'll be in the 20s. And some of these temperatures are going to be even colder in valley locations, especially where we have lighter winds across the portions to the east of Pryor and Wagner. Around Tulsa, about 28. Outlying, low-lying areas could be 22. During the afternoon, clouds will be on the increase. Temperatures will be in the 50s. But the winds are coming back again. 20, 30 miles per hour. I mentioned that at the top of our newscast uh, that we should see some uh, gust to 30 around Bartlesville, Coffeeville, Osage, Pawnee County areas. And then on Friday, hang on once again. Uh, winds will be 20, gusting to 40 miles an hour. Temperatures warmer. We'll be in the 60s with more clouds off to the east. So there's a chance of a little bit of patchy drizzle. The winds are just kind of the biggest uh, factor, especially for our high school uh, championship game. So we're going to just see that across much of the state. And then on Saturday, another cold front. Temperatures falling back in the 40s. It's like, this is what's going on. Then we're a little bit warmer on Sunday, uh, back to a south wind, but we do have a chance of showers in the southeast part of our viewing area, about a 40% chance here in Tulsa, and so we'll see that. And there's a slight chance that could continue into Monday. Another slight chance will be late Thursday and Friday of next weekend. A lot of Christmas parades, as I said, so we're looking at Bristow, Pryor, Stillwater, Wagner, and Caney, just to name a few that are coming up for Thursday night. And if you want to rake leaves tomorrow, yeah, well, for the next few days, Good luck. That's about all I'm going to say on that. Uh, as far as our forecast is concerned, 33, cold at uh, 9. You'll be in the 20s if you're in the outlying areas or around northeast Oklahoma. Uh, generally low to mid 20s, about 28 in the heart of Tulsa. 47 at noontime, sunny. Here comes that doggone wind again. Gusting to 20 to 25 at noontime, maybe up to 30 during the afternoon, especially if you're north and west of Tulsa. 40 mile an hour wind gust on Friday. Hang on. And then uh, cold front knocks it back down on Saturday with a chance of showers around on Sunday. And next week, we're just kind of up and down. So nothing serious, just that wind is getting kind of crazy at times.